It was very much a Ralph Lauren show. I mean, the first looks out were very classic, uh, you know, brown cashmere, brown flannel, and you know, he touched on his favorite themes. There was some, there was a little fringe for a Western flair, and then there was a little uh, baroqueness with his frock coats. This line is always, it's, it's a combination of fantasy and also practicality. That first uh, whole section with all the, you know, the browns, the plaids, I mean, we really saw, I mean, these are clothes that women wear. You saw the wider pants, and we saw a lot of trends, but it's still done in the luxurious, uh, cool way that he always does it. And it's just, you know, it was, it was fantastic. Well, I, I think he always is, uh, you know, capable of transporting uh, you right out of your seat, which is such a rare thing in, in fashion, you know, and and um, and also the kind of unspooling of how the story is going to be told from the first look to the last, you know, starting off with the beige and then ending up with a kind of bohemian, romantic uh, uh, looks. Um, I just thought it was, you know, very beautiful. Ralph was, you know, he is the epitome of style and, and it endures through the trends and this was again a very stylish and glamorous show. I love the combination of the brocade and the distressed denim, which I thought was very clever and, and also we saw a lot of uh, accessories in this show, a lot of handbags, but this brand, it continues to take classic clothes and still give them just a little whisk that makes them really uh, still incredibly desirable. Scottish baronial rocker goes to the Rockies, you know, and I thought, you know, it was Ralph doing what he does. No one does kind of luxury and, 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 and opulence as well in America as Ralph Lauren. That will never change. A little bit of the country and a little bit of town, right, so kind of like us, um, and I think uh, it also had a sense of, you know, youthfulness and fun. He does the blazer, he always has the models with the, a lot of times they have on the ties, I mean, it it looks like Ralph Lauren, but it always has something that is just, um, you know, that makes it fresh. Well, you know, Ralph does Ralph, and he does it very well. It is uh, his uh, point of view on uh, a very real woman that has a real wife. I love always his take on menswear and how he can bring it into a feminine silhouette. He is someone who's been really accomplished at creating a very distinctive brand. He's created his own world and he stays very much within that vocabulary from one season to the next and I think that's what his customers appreciate. That's why I guess I, I, I know the word luxury means whatever you want it to mean these days, but I felt like, yes, it's a kind of thing like, you know, who wouldn't want to be wearing something that soft and that kind of, you know, enveloping and beautiful and, and with, with such a, uh, an amazing tailoring uh, spirit and cut. You know, it's really extraordinary. He's always got another trick up his sleeve. I mean, it's, you know, inspiring to us all.